Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm filming a makeup look on this. This is just like my everyday fall makeup look that I've been wearing. And this is just gonna be a chatty get ready with me. So this video is gonna be longer. I'm gonna try to do what you guys said and not edit too much. I mean, obviously I'm editing in this part, but the rest of the video I'm not gonna edit too much. So it's probably gonna be a long video. So if you guys do enjoy these, please give this video a thumbs up. I hope that you all, ha I hope that you all are having a great week and I'm just gonna go ahead and get into the get ready with me. If you see like any paint in my hair, or like on my nails, I was painting at my brother's house yesterday. You guys know that I'm gonna be moving in there in like a month. So I'm trying to get as much done as I can. And I'm sorry, but this is probably going to be my only video this week. Just because, you know, I've been working at his house this week. And also, I'm on overtime at my job. So I don't really have a whole lot of days off from work. Um, so I should have applied my moisturizer first. I'm just like trying to hurry up and like get ready. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and apply my Biore Aqua Rich Watery Essence Sunscreen. It's like SPF 50 plus. I'm just going to apply that all over and then after that I'm going to do my foundation. Which today I'm going to use my, um, my Revlon Color Stay. So I'm just going to rub this in real quick. I'm just like hurrying up today because I'm just, I need to like do all of like my my just like normal chores like going to the grocery store and doing my laundry and cleaning and stuff like that so yeah a bunch of things that I don't really want to do but I need to do and like I said for my foundation today I'm just going to be using my Revlon Color Stay and this is in 180 Sand Beige so that's the foundation I'm using and I just squirted out two pumps that on the back of my hand and I went ahead and dampened my little beauty sponge before I started filming and I know I've had some of you guys ask me what sponge this is. And this is the Peak Cosmetic Sponge. It was like sent to me. So if I can find the links to where you can purchase this, I'll put that down below for you guys. And yeah, so I'll just link that down below. But I'm just using this sponge to blend this foundation in. And this sponge is a really good sponge. I don't know how much it costs. I would say it's relatively affordable, but I don't really know. It seems really comparable to um, like the Beauty Blender. And I just figured today I would just do the makeup look that I've been doing most recently, like to work and everything. So this is kind of like my current everyday like fall makeup look. So I'm just gonna blend that in. And it's like I always run out of foundation for my nose. So I do like a little, just a little pump about like that um, for my nose. And then I just turn the sponge over to the more pointed side. And just blend that out there. But as you guys know, I told you in my last Get Ready With Me, Josh and I, we were going to Kansas for a friend's wedding. So we did that, it's been like a week ago since that happened. I've just been so busy with trying to get everything ready, like with the move and all that, that it's been really hard for me to film. And I also changed departments at work, so like my whole shift changed and everything. So I've been trying to get adjusted to that. Like I have to get up 30 minutes earlier in the morning, which I already got up early anyhow to go to work. But now instead of being at work at 7, I have to be there at 6.30. So yeah, I have to get up like 30 minutes earlier. <laughs> so it's been an adjustment, but it's nice to get off 30 minutes earlier too. So with my concealer, I'm just going in with the L'Oreal Pro Glow Concealer. I've been enjoying this concealer so much. This is in the shade, I think 01, yeah, 01 Classic Ivory. And it has a really nice flat DOFA applicator, like the um, Urban Decay Naked Concealer. It's very similar to that concealer, actually. Except for I find that this concealer has a little bit more, like, luminous finish to it. It definitely has, like, a luminous finish to the concealer. Sorry about that. My phone just went off. So I just put some underneath my under eyes, and I also take a little bit down my nose. I would say my only gripe about this concealer is they just don't make 
light, very light shades. Like this is the lightest shade and it's not a super light, like brightening shade. As you can see, it's pretty close to just like my foundation color. So I wish that they would make some a little lighter, which I don't know, maybe they do, but I would think 01 was the lightest one they make. So if you guys know if they make a lighter one, let me know. But, um, yeah, so we went to um, Kansas, Josh and I, and we had a really good time. That was my first time ever going to Kansas. Um, if you followed me on Snapchat, which if you don't follow me on Snapchat, I'll have my Snapchat down below. But I, like, took a lot of snaps, and I told you guys in one of the snaps that um, I don't do very well with flying. Something about flying, it just makes me feel really sick afterwards. I don't necessarily feel super sick during. Um, hold on, I'm just going to go ahead and do my powder. And I'm just using my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in Soft Ivory. Um, but yeah, I just get really um, nauseous and get a headache real bad after the flight. And I try to drink water while I'm on the plane and stuff like that to try to stay hydrated. So I don't know if maybe it's just like I'm dehydrated. But I feel like it's the whole pressure change with the atmosphere, you know, going up in the plane and coming down. And especially if I have like a connecting flight and have to go up again, down again. I think the whole up again, down again thing just really makes me not feel very well, like all the pressure and stuff. So I got kind of sick after we first got down there. So that really wasn't like the most enjoyable thing. And then the flight back was just really not the greatest. <laughs> so... Um, but the actual trip down there was nice. I'm just going to go in with the powder and just use that all over my lids to set that concealer. Um, but yeah, we had a good time just like exploring, um, Wichita because that's where we went. And it's so much different than like my city here in Louisville. Like Louisville is such a busy, busy city compared to Wichita. Like apparently we were talking to one of the Uber, dri Uber drivers and he was saying like certain times of like the week or day it gets really busy there. But like other times it's like ghost town, I felt like, compared to back here. Um, but yeah, we had a good time. We went out to dinner like the night before the wedding. Like on Friday night we went to um, like a sushi place that was really good. I think it was called Hannah's Cafe or something. Now I'm just going in with my e.l.f. contour palette. And we just got some sushi and some drinks and stuff. And then we got some frozen yogurt. We went to, I think it was Old Time Square, I think is what the place was called in Wichita. So yeah, we had a good time there. And then like we had a fun time. Well, the wedding was nice, but I got really sick while we were on, while we were down there. Besides the whole plane ride and stuff. I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, but I kind of have a sensitivity to gluten. Like, I'm not celiac or anything, but sometimes if I eat a lot of it, it makes my stomach get really bloated and it makes my stomach hurt. I'm still just going in with this. I'm just using my large Real Technique brush. Um, but yeah, while we were down there, I just had a lot of gluten because we went out to eat at different restaurants and stuff. Um, cause like the restaurant across from the hotel where we were staying at was called the pump house, which was like an ode. It used to be an ode, like gas station and like service place, like for vehicles and they changed it into a restaurant. So we went there a couple of times and got like pizza and pretzel like sticks. I mean, and then we went to Ode Chicago another day and had like more pizza and stuff like that. So it was just like gluten all over the place. So by the time the wedding happened, I just was not feeling very good. Like I was feeling really bloated. And then the dress I was wearing was like a really tight dress. And I just felt so uncomfortable basically the whole time that we were at the wedding. Like I had a good time and it was a nice wedding and everything, but I just did not feel very well. So I just decided after I got back from that trip that I was gonna cut gluten out for a while and just not even eat it. Because there was a period of time, like, I didn't eat gluten at all. For, like, two years, I didn't eat it. And I felt so much better. So now I'm going in with, like, this darker shade here. So 
I mean, it's really hard to be gluten-free. I'm sure if any of you guys have like a sensitivity to gluten or, or celiac, like you know what I'm saying? Once you start eating that way for a while, it's okay, like you get adjusted to it, but you kind of have to know what, to, what you can get at certain places and things like that. So it kind of makes it a little difficult, but... So yeah, that kind of happened. So it was like, there was good things about the trip and then there was like, not necessarily bad things, but I guess uncomfortable things that happened on the trip. And then I have like another story to tell you guys about that trip that was really kind of scary, but it's like funny now to tell the story. So I'm just going to go in with these two shades, like a mix of those and just put them here to kind of set that concealer and to just kind of brighten that area right there since that concealer isn't very brightening. So just using that there. And then for my blush, I've been using my Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Rose Champagne. And I love this blush so much. I think I used this in one of my other Get Ready With Me's. But once I used it in that Get Ready With Me, like I just have been using it ever since. Um, this is just one of my favorite blushes. I love the Wet n Wild Color Icon blushes. They're so good. You guys know how much I love Wet n Wild. And I'm just applying this with my Sigma F40 angle brush. And then I'm going to go in with my highlight. I'll tell you guys about the story here in a minute because it's going to take a minute to tell you guys the story. So now I'm just going in with this highlight shade. And I've actually really been enjoying this highlight shade from this palette. But look at how pretty that is. Like I never really used it for like highlighting my cheekbones. I always used it to like set my under eye concealer. But it's such a beautiful highlight. Like it has a really nice shimmer to it. But it's not too, or I guess sheen. But it's not too shimmery. Like it's perfect. It's really pretty. Like in some ways it kind of reminds me of my Laura, my Laura Mercier um, Matte Radiance Baked powder in highlight 01 it reminds me a lot of that just maybe slightly a little bit more shimmery but it's really really pretty I'm just putting a little bit here and do not mind my eyebrows they're terrible again it's like I need to pluck them every weekend and some weekends it just doesn't happen and I'm drinking my coffee too I went to Starbucks this morning um, I left Josh's house to come to my house so I could, or my apartment, to get ready to do things today because I have to go back to work tomorrow to work overtime. So now I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my brows with my NYX Micro Brow, brow Pencil first. And the shade that I've been use, using in this is um, Taupe. I used to use Soft Brown, I think, or Ash Brown. But I've kind of switched over to this one. It's like a little lighter, but... I want to pick up, a, pick up another one of Ash Brown because the other one I had, I think I forgot to put the lid on it so it dried out, which is kind of a bummer. So maybe I'll look for another one of these while I'm out doing grocery shopping and stuff. But yeah, so the night before the wedding, so on Friday night after we went out to dinner to get sushi and stuff like that, we went back to the hotel and we were both like pretty tired just from like traveling and stuff. So we went to bed fairly early, I think, like maybe, I don't know, not real early, maybe like 10, 30, 11. And then um, we were just laying in bed and all of a sudden, like our hotel room door just opens. And I'm a really light sleeper, so I like woke up. And at first I thought maybe it was one of his friends that was down there, which I didn't know how they got a key to get in, but I just thought maybe somehow they just got in. Um, but then it was this guy, you could tell that he had been at a wedding because he had a suit on and he had like a boutonniere, but it was kind of dark, you know, in our hotel room, obviously, but he flipped one of the lights on in our room so you could see him, but the light wasn't like real bright, bright so it was kind of hard to see. Um, but he was like stumbling into the room, like you could tell that he had been drinking and that he was drunk. And he seemed like really confused. And then I started freaking out because I was like, how did this guy get in our room? Because, you know, our door was locked. Well, it wasn't locked, but it was shut. You know, in a hotel, like people can't get in your room unless they have your room key. 
Um, so then I started like hitting Josh and being like, oh my God, like there's a guy in our room, some guy. I was like, who is this guy? Like, I can't even remember what I was saying. Like I was really freaking out. And Josh isn't like a light sleeper. So he was like all confused. He was like, huh, what? I don't know. And then that other guy was just like standing kind of over our bed, so confused. And then he was like, Derek? Sarah <laughs> and we were like no you're in the wrong room and the guy like just turned around and like stumbled out of the room and shut the door but like I was so mad because I was like how did this guy get in our room um and I wanted to go down to the desk then but I knew I would probably just be really mean and probably say things that I shouldn't say because sometimes I'm like that if I get really mad um, so I was like, I'll just wait to the morning. And Josh was like, yeah, you should just probably, we should just wait, you know. So anyhow, um, in the morning, which I don't know, maybe we should have went and said something, but you know, we were both kind of tired. I was mad, you know, but in the morning we went down to the desk and told them about what happened. And they were like, oh my God, I can't believe that happened. <laughs> I'm now using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper to set my brows in place. It's just like a tinted brow gel. Um, and this is in the shade light to medium, but they were like, so, you know, apologetic and they were like, we're so sorry that that happened. We'll get somebody to come out and look at your, you know, your lock and stuff. And then they said that that was probably the same guy. He like passed out apparently in the hallway on the third floor and they had to like escort him out. So I guess maybe he was just using his room key in all the rooms and couldn't figure out like where his room was because he was so drunk I don't know but it was an experience <laughs> so yeah that crazy thing happened now I'm just gonna zoom you guys in to do my eyes I haven't really been doing a lot like with my eyeshadow I've mostly just been doing liner so I think I'll just put a little bit of a color in my crease and maybe do like a highlight shade and then I'll just do my liner and mascara so I'll just zoom you guys in so you guys can see this part. And like I said, don't mind my eyebrow hairs that I need to pluck because they are out of control right now. I might need to turn this up slightly so you guys can see better. So yeah, and then the night before we came back home, some of Josh's friends thought it would be good to play a practical joke on us and try to come into our room like that other guy did and their key let them in like the next night so they did not like get that door fixed and thank god like no one else like came into our room and stole anything like it was just ridiculous so whenever we left the next morning because we had to re leave really early to catch the flight we like told the lady at the desk again what had happened so who knows if they ever got it fixed we stayed at like the courtyard marriott i don't know so and I'm just using right now my Maybelline Brow Precise Perfecting Brow Highlighter. I'm just using my Wet n Wild um, Concealer Brush to blend that out. And that kind of helps to conceal my brow hairs just a little bit. I don't know which eye would be better to show. Maybe this one? So yeah, that was my crazy trip to Kansas. <laughs> and then I'm just going back in with this little palette here and I'm just going to get a little bit of this shade right down here. This is my e.l.f. contour palette and I'm just using my Wet n Wild um, contour brush or blending brush and I'm just going to blend that right here in the crease. So you guys will have to let me know what kind of crazy situations like that have happened to you at hotels because that is like the first thing, the first time that's ever happened. But that's like really scary because it's like, what if I was there by myself and just some random person came in while I was sleeping? Like, I don't know. I mean, luckily that guy didn't do anything because he was like too drunk to do anything. But still, it's just like, what the heck? So now I'm going in, if this thing will focus... I'm just going in with my e.l.f. Uh, liquid liner in black 
and I'm just going to do like a winged eyeliner. Which normally I start out with the other eye, so hopefully this turns out all right. And actually, I might just go ahead and do my liner on this eye over here since this is the one I usually do first. I'm sorry if I get out of frame or anything like that. I like this e.l.f. liquid liner, but sometimes it's like the formula of it isn't the way it used to be. Like sometimes it's pretty thin, so you kind of have to go over it a few times. But I love the brush on this thing. The brush is so good for doing wing liner. So now, most of the times I try to just like look down in my mirror with my eyes open so I can see where to put my wing. So I've been kind of doing like a bigger wing and then take the tip of it and draw it back. And then I just fill that in. But honestly, even though this formula is fairly thin, I don't have any issues with it like flaking off or smudging off or anything. So, I don't know. It is a really good liquid liner for how affordable it is, I feel like. But you guys will have to let me know maybe what liquid liners you guys like that have the same kind of brush. Okay, and then I'm gonna kind of, and then I'm gonna try to get like just a really fine little tip out here. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and then I'll come back. Okay, and then for my mascara, I've just been using a mix of these two mascaras, the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise and the CoverGirl The Super Sizer. I've just been doing like a coat of each of those. So I'm just gonna do that on both of my eyes and then I'll come back and share it with you guys what I'm gonna use on my lips today. Um, also too, I don't use this L'Oreal Lash Paradise on my lower lashes because sometimes it can smudge on my lower lashes. So I'll just use my CoverGirl the Super Sizer because that stuff does not smudge on the lower lashes. For my lipstick, I want to use this product that was sent to me. It's from Deck of Scarlet. And I don't know if you've heard about this brand before, but, and I don't know all the details of this brand because I haven't really like went to their website and like looked at everything about it, but I'm pretty sure it's like a subscription service and you get like a new like makeup kit like every, I think three months or like every season. Um, but it comes usually with like a lip product and then you get like an eyeshadow palette that has, um, eyeshadows which are up here and then you get like a highlight and a blush and then on this side over here it comes with like lip products it has like a plastic um, thing over top of it to protect it there but it's actually a really nice quality palette like I was really impressed by this and I've seen other youtubers talk about this and Deck of Scarlet also collabs with other beauty influencers and they come up with these palettes every season or every three months or whatever but this little palette here and this lipstick is for September through October, I think. 
Um, and I've been meaning to do a tutorial with this for you guys, this palette here, but I really haven't used it that much. I've just used the blush and the highlight and I do really like this. So if this is something that you'd like for me to do like a tutorial on or like a get ready with me, let me know and I'll use this, but I don't know how relevant it's going to be now since this is already October and I don't know if you guys can still get this. I think you can. I don't know if you can just go and buy it or if you have to have a subscription. So I'll just leave like Deck of, Gar Deck of Scarlet's website down below so you guys can check it out. But I want to use the lip product that they sent me. But I cannot remember the influencer that did this. If I can remember, I'll put it in the video if I can figure it out. Um, but the lip thing that I'm going to use is in the color. It's One Stroke Graphic Lip Crayon in Playa. And it is a beautiful color for fall. I don't have a lip color that is like this. It is so pretty. It's really moisturizing, really long wearing. And then on the opposite side, it also came with a lip liner. But for some reason, the the lip liner side, the lid like will not stay on this. And I had it in my makeup bag whenever I went on my trip to Kansas. And it fell off, I guess, during the flight. And the lip liner, it dried out. So it like doesn't even work now because it got all dried out. But before it dried out, it was a really good lip liner. Like it lasted for a long time and everything. So instead of using that lip liner, I'm just going to use my Rimmel. Oops, it just fell. <laughs> I'm just going to use my Rimmel lip liner, exaggerate lip liner in Epic to line my lips first. And then I'll go in with that lipstick, which I don't really have a lip liner that's dark enough for that lipstick so hopefully this lip liner will, will work. Like sometimes when I go to line my lips I don't even know what happens. Now I feel like I'm going to have to use concealer to fix that. So makeup mistakes. One of you guys was asking me if I could do a video on how to correct makeup mistakes. So this situation here, the way I would go about correcting that is to put some concealer right there. And I got to figure out what I did with my concealer. Oh, it fell. Ugh. Everything's falling on the floor. So I just put a little bit of concealer like on the back of my hand here. And then I would just take like a little concealer brush. This is just a wet and wild concealer brush. And then I would just go like that to kind of clean it up. Or you could use your foundation too, but since that concealer is basically the same color as my foundation, I'll just use that. I'm like dropping, I have like the drops today. I'm like dropping everything. <laughs> okay. And then I'm not gonna fill this all the way in, but. And then I'm just gonna go on with the lipstick now in Playa <laughs> and just fill my lips in. And this stuff is really pigmented. It's moisturizing, but it's long wearing. It's really nice. It's not a matte lipstick at all. It does have like a nice like gloss to it or sheen. And I do feel like that lip liner in Epic works with this. Really pretty. I just love this lip color. Even though it's dark, it's not like too dark. I don't feel like it's really pretty. I'm just gonna go back and kind of touch up right here. And then 
I'm just gonna take my hair down and put my scarf on so you can get like the full effect. This is just like my favorite fall scarf. I love it. I got it at Forever 21 like a couple years back, but it's just a great fall scarf. I probably have paint in my hair too from painting it like it yesterday because I didn't wash my hair last night. <laughs> just put some dry shampoo in it this morning. All right, guys. So that is this makeup look completed. This has just been my go-to everyday fall makeup look. Like I said, I changed the lip color up for work. I usually do something a little bit more nude, but like the eyes and face and everything, this is what I've been wearing to work. So I hope that you guys did enjoy this chatty get ready with me. If you guys do enjoy these, and hopefully I don't have lipstick on my teeth. I don't. I always get paranoid about that when I'm wearing dark lips and I'm talking to you guys at the end. I feel like I probably have lipstick all over my teeth because there's been times where that's happened and then when I went to edit the video, I was like, oh my gosh, I should have checked that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't remember what I was saying. Okay, yeah. If you guys do enjoy these, please give this video a thumbs up so I know to film more of them. And let me know if you like this format where I didn't edit it as much. I know that this video is probably like at least 30 minutes long. Um, so if you guys do enjoy this, please let me know. I hope that you guys have a great week. I'm sorry if you don't see me any other days this week. I might only be posting like once a week until I get moved into Micah's, which I'm going to move in like the weekend before Thanksgiving. So just bear with me. Um, but I hope that you guys have a great week or that you're having a great week. Not sure when I'm going to get this up. I'm trying to get this up on Monday, but we'll just see. Um, or no, not Monday, because today is Monday. I guess I'll try to get it up on Wednesday. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope that you guys have a great week. My days are all mi mixed up since my schedule changed at work. Um, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.